And be the next person to testify. I said, Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. I should have answered favor because I proclaim that it was because of the ministry, this ministry was established for his work. was a man that was last year, early last year, was a man that was, was living in one room for children. I don't think he was from somewhere. Then, you know the worst thing so far is when you have children and you live in one room, it's worst thing so far. Then there's nothing you can do. My marriage was a problem. I don't know why, because of poverty. I wasn't good. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Then I want to say that God just completed me last year. I want to say that when my wife was trying to meet me last year, I passed from one room to two bedroom flats, and the money did not get back to my house.
I've got some way to put it to when I come down to take 25,000 money to my side. The one I talk with my father in the Lord, the same. Because where I work, I work as an operator. If you're not saying this, you will not survive. He tell the man, of, I tell me, I don't, don't say this, say no. I said, I will not say, I will not say this. I was, before the moon got to the end, I was elected. He told me, I'm not always telling the man, God has something for you. I sat down and told my wife, from tomorrow I'm not going to the work again, I stop work, I stay. Same that day I said, I'm not going. I got a call. They called me to come to somewhere to work. I tell you. Sure. He said, when you are leaving, when you get to that place, pray, commit that place and call you into the hands of God. Tell God to for you. When I get to that place, I, I pray, no, and they give me a room, I pray, I tell God a favor for me, because I don't know how to pray much. I was there, even when the other place called me, I left that one to another place. I walked there for one year as an operator. It was somehow better. The time comes that, within last year, God just started to commit me. I'm sure I can't, I can't just tell. In every two weeks, I remember I was I was complete from operator to a side manager when that last year. I back from one room to two bedroom flats and the money did not get back to my house. So I started my foundation September 18th, but I, I back into my house in December. I was there, even when the other place called me. I left that one to another place. I walked there for one year as an operator. It was so come that within last year, God just started to commit me. I'm sure that I can't just, I can't just tell. In every two weeks, I remember I was coming. I was complete from operator to a side manager during that last year. And you see what devil can do. Then I was working toward the end of the year. We are supposed to have gotten 9,000 men from the company. Company offer me, they have been offering me a cabin. That is about the offer me Hillocks, brand new Hillocks. They call me to come to Lagos. I went to Lagos and picked up. I drove from Lagos to Port Harcourt office. After that, they called me back to come to size. I went back to size. They said, please carry this car. Go and manage. Go and front tire bus, back tire pull out. Into two. Next time, they walk less. This boat was start to somersault. And I was in seven months, it was somersault. I tell them, I said, how am I going to pass through? No, it's not my portion, God. I was praying, the motor was going. This accident, this motor is beyond repair. The new drive motor is tomorrow. It's beyond repair. This company that took me like an egg, turned back. No, but they couldn't answer me. They didn't talk to me. They didn't care to my treatment. But I thank God that God helped me. You know what happened? My salary, they withdrew my salary in December. And they paid him worker salary to my account to withdraw. I give it to that. I was in order to sign check for my workers. I wanted to withdraw the salary I paid to them. Remember, I was not paid. On 29, I couldn't move. I did not move like human as I used to. On 29, I got a call that they have I mean, they have searched me. I said, what a hell, God. I seem to feel bad somehow, but I said, God, thank you. That I have achieved this task and achieved out. Well, within that time, within that December, this happened on 29. On time, I tell my wife, let's go to you. Let me give my address to you. Let them let, let us go and turn around the city for them to know who we are. I was on the car driving with my wife and my kids. So they called here to my phone, the foreign, the foreign number they got. Say, is it one there? I say, yes. Said, um, someone recommend you here. Can you work with the social company? I said, well, of course. He said, uh, what do you want us to pay you? I said, we should discuss that a little bit. This is, after they got my commission to the people. On phone. That as I'm talking to you now, as I'm talking to you, I cannot move normal. They said, don't worry, we know about that. That was on 29. Now on 30, this, that 30 first, this, this guy called me again. Say, send me your account number. I will pay them the same money for you at Christmas. This boy, I don't know this. They don't know me. I said, 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 I said
sait qu'on t'a, on sait qu'on vous dit c'est quoi. Mais je viens de faire un dernier compagnie. Quand tu veux, je vais te donner. Je t'assure, write as I have got an accident or what? I don't want to write. He said, okay, what do we do? I said, I'm coming to Hanover. I went to the sites. I don't handle that on second. This company sent me money to my account to pay flight to Lagos for negotiation. We get in there, sit down round table, we start negotiation. When we negotiate, I tell them my condition that all of my boys they have dropped from record, they say they cannot work since this company has trained in this one. Can you allow me to come along with them? The whole captain the engineer and they say yes, okay. Now we talk about salary. I rated all my staff. He reached my phone and said no. I will not rate myself. Rates. I leave. They remain three percent on board the rates. You know what happened? The other side I was side manager, but here he supported when they give me a letter to be general manager of operation. And my vision is times two, and my salary is times two. Everything around me is times two. They do not have a job here in Niger. What should be done? How will they be able to pick up? When I pick up my phone, I call the woman. One woman here in River State here, one guy in my city. We work. She told me that she has to tell the other company to go, not to work for her. Any company I'm working with will be company that will take up the job and work. Now she said, well, how did you discover that? I tell her, she said, no. That she wants to restore the internet. Like, they should not put more than that. I said, no, more than it's okay. For me, it's okay because I'm not even expect that in life. I, want, I don't know how to start. What I want to say is, this God has taken me from zero percent, from zero to one thousand percent of life. God is still working miracles. You can be the next person to testify. Coming up to me, say no, let me go back to the former 
jumping and see them. He went there and see them, discussed with them. They told him to come and sign again. He said, if his contract job that he's not going to sign, that he have family to take care of. My husband left the office. They called him back. Are you so 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 best to say yes? Are you the brother of so so best to say yes? Are you the one that will tell your brother what is happening in this country? Say yes. So the guy, your brother, is my child. Now, I want to give you your uh, confirmation letter. They give you confirmation letter, then you just say. Amen. Since my life, I have not witnessed double blessing. I mean, I witnessed this in my family. Still walking miracles. You can be the next person to testify. walking miracles. You can be the next person to testify.
you can be the next person to testify. Sister, good evening. We would like you to tell us your name. Okay, my name is Chimese Olivia Nawini. Is where you are, where are you from? I am I'm from Imo State. Imo State. But, yes, but I'm living at Ikorengo here, Echi. Okay. Please, can you tell us what the Lord did for you at the land of heaven? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord do many things for me. I don't even know where to start to identify the goodness of God. But I will start somewhere. It started last year when we are doing program that we do do every ending of the December. So when that program was going on, I make a request from the Lord that as we are entering the new year, that I want God to visit me, that this is seven years marriage. It has not been easy for me. I passed a lot of things, humiliated, abused, sort of names. But I so much thank God. I thought that maybe I just offered a request, but I never know that God had what I requested from him. He decided to bless me in the land of this family. So as we enter the new year, unexpectedly, after January, February, March, April, as we are entering May, I, have, I begin to experience uncertain signs in my body. So when I went to the hospital, they couldn't find out that is pregnant. They say that I has a fibroid, not one, not two, not three, almost four fibroids. When I come back, I have connected my husband. I told my husband that look at what I'm, expect, what I'm experiencing. But within me, I know that something is wrong somewhere. My husband said, okay, but you should forget about it. That's okay. At a time came when I now went to the test, they now confirmed that he's pregnant. I say, oh, can I be a woman that will stand after seven years? I miss my period. I give God thanks for visiting me. So I glorify God for visiting me and answering my prayer. That prayer will do that last December. And this year, he confirmed it by giving me a baby girl. And that is why I have come into this land of favor to offer the child in the presence of God, to thank him for what he has done for me, for today that he's taking away my reproach and he's taking away my tears and sorrow and change my name to become a mother of a child. I say may his name be glorified for doing this for me. Also, I thank my daddy who has been an encouragement to my family, which is the daddy of the land of favor, who God has been using to bless his people. I said, may his, the name of God be glorified by using him to encourage me. Praise the Lord. Oh, Sister Chimese, you mean that hospital told you why you went for report? Yes. That you were having four fibroids in, in the womb. womb. Even when I went to the hospital at a pigry, so when I confirmed that he's pregnant, and the, the doctor in the hospital saw the scan, he said, how can fibroid, four fibroid in the womb, and also there is a baby inside that womb? That, that is a miracle something. That even one fibroid can prevent a woman to have a child, even one fibroid in ordinary tummy, top place of inside the womb, that is a miracle child, that is a something to glorify God. I can't confirm there is no fibroid again. 
So I understand that maybe the five broad is spiritual or something they send or you know, but God have intervened. Because the seven months when I went back, they said there is no five brother, there's only the child that was in the womb. So you can now say that God is really working at the land of Yes, him. God is really working. And as I really saw his hand work. Not only that, even in my marriage, since I noticed this child, my husband has been getting contracts dear and dear. So I understand that God has favored me from the land of heaven. Praise that God. God. All right, Sister Chimezie, we as well can see that this is really the handy work of God. Yes. That God is working here. We say, may the glory be to God. Amen. And God that has blessed you with a bouncing baby girl and favors your family, favors your husband, he will continually favor you Amen. and your family Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God is still working miracles. You can be the next person to testify. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I want to thank God for what God has done in my life and in the life of my family. There was a problem I was passing through for the last seven years ago. To, since when I gave birth to my last child. But it is in this ministry that God favored me. I was not here last Tuesday, but God passed through the man of God and visited me when I was in my dream. A man of God appeared to me. I only see his hand when he just stretched directly to where I was standing. And I was, I was shouting. I said, ah, daddy, is it you? When he stretched his hand, and that is how I got healing from the problem I was passing through. I've been going to many places when I was passing through that problem. But I've been taking drugs, both medically and native. There was no improvement. But it is in this ministry that God used the man of God to deliver me from that problem. And today I am healed. That problem has not been seen it again. God has rolled away my soul. Praise the Lord. I want to also. God is still working miracles. Is it? 
can be the next person to testify. I also want to thank God for my mother. For nine years after her first son, she has not had 
a child. But God has visited her, and I pray that this baby will come to stay in her womb in Jesus' name. God is still working miracles. You can be the next person to testify. I'm here to testify about the healing power of God. I mean, for the first time in my life, I've been hearing people testify, say, and testify about instant miracle, but I've never experienced it in my life. But it happened on Friday during our Tari night. I was sitting down there and uh, my tummy began to disturb me so badly that I cannot even stand. And the man of God was saying that we should pray, we should lay our hand on wherever, you know, on our head and declare anything that is disturbing us in our body and uh, begin to. Uh, the uh, pray concerning that those pains and whatsoever you're suffering. And I lay my hand upon my head and I prayed and prayed and nothing happened. But it happened during the anointing oil period that he said he prayed over the anointing oil and he gave us, he said that we should open it and drink. And uh, I, my brother, I believe, opened his own and uh, gave me a little. Immediately I drank that one. I, as soon as I drank it, the pain st instantly stopped. And I want to thank God for giving me this opportunity to experience what is called instant miracle. Because for the first time in my life, when each time I see people testifying it, I don't know, I don't have the idea about how it happens. But this one it happened. And I say, He that done this for me, may his name alone be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. The God that lives forever too. God is still working miracles. You can be the next person to testify. Pick 
miracles and be the next person to testify.
is still working miracles. You can be the next person to testify.